this is today's agenda. First of all, I will introduce you myself and my group, and then I will talk about the OpenStack in the Intel IT, how many OpenStack cloud within Intel IT, and third, I will talk about the how the way we do cloud. I will in generally introduce the approach we do cloud the workflow, what kinds steps within the workflow, and then I will detail uh, introduce each practice de in detail. At last but not least, uh, I will talk about how to integrate the OpenStack cloud with the Intel validation cloud. So my name is Shu Quan Huan. I'm joined Intel 2011 as a software engineer and a scrum master. Currently, I lead the IT engineering computing OpenStack team um, to provide the cloud solution for our validation labs customer and provide a solution for Intel internal use. For myself, I focus on the cloud solution and agile methodology. My group is called the Intel IT Engineering Computing, which is a group to provide the cloud solution within Intel. My, our currently, the major customer of our group is the Intel Validation Labs. We provide the cloud solution to the Intel Validation Labs, help them, help them to establish the validation environment as soon as possible, provide them the ability to create the compute network and storage for them, and help them link the resources together. My, our group started the OpenStack journey since 2011. Actually, there are, there are three types cloud, OpenStack cloud uh, within Intel IT. First one is Shanghai. Yeah. The first one called the Silicon Design Cloud. This type is this type of cloud is to provide the Silicon Design uh, Engineer cloud services. Second is called the validation cloud. This cloud, like I just mentioned before, is provide the cloud solution to the validation labs, help, help, help the Intel validation team to shorten the validation, validation time. And the third is the hosting cloud. This cloud is for the hosting purpose. Uh, the, in the, before OpenStack, Intel has, has other cloud solutions for provide cloud cloud services, but in the future, our, our, uh, our, the tendency is to use OpenStack to manage all the infrastructure, no, uh, no, uh, no matter the existing infrastructure or the new infrastructure. So I'm going to tell you how we, uh, the way we do a cloud. Actually, um, there is no doubt we, we have to do some customization based on OpenStack because, uh, to fit our business need. So as a developer, uh, once he did some customization, he will submit this kind of code to our own local repo, and then it will trigger the following, following steps like the build, pre-release and production. I, I will show you an example. For example, we have did some snapshot improvement. And the, this improvement will go to, the, go to the local repo. And there is a server. He will check the uh, changes and will apply it to the build stage. In this stage, it will run some unit test or static check to see if there is something error happen. If happened, the flow will, will be uh, stop. Do, if it passed, and it will be 
automatically deployed to the pre-release environment. And when, when the code, code was uh, deployed to the pre-release environment and templates will be run to verify the functionality of this cloud, if it all works, no problem of this code, and it will go to the production environment. In the production environment, we have the cloud data analysis services to pro provide the uh, data analysis capability to our uh, operator to help them to troubleshooting or uh, help them to, to provide them suggestions. And we also de develop our own one-stop shop admin portal. Within this portal, there we integrate many functions like the monitor and the alarm function and, and the other, and the template result. All the uh, operation related stuff you can find in this portal. So, so this is the workflow of our, our uh, when we develop and operating a cloud. And in the following, I will introduce each of them uh, in detail. I, I think some of you may be familiar of this, uh, this workflow, yes. Actually, this workflow is a continuous deliver, work, deliver workflow. And why we enable this, this CD approach? Because we want, to, want uh, our developer quick get feedback from their code submit. And develop can see the change, the impact of their code, and no matter the actually no matter the developer, uh, no matter the developer and the operator or some operation guys, w once they apply some changes to the code, they can see the result get, uh, and get the feedback quickly by uh, by trigger this f workflow. So first of all, I will introduce this, uh, this workflow in detail. How many of you uh, heard about the CD continuous delivery? Can you show your hands? And you are using this workflow in your development? Have you? OK. So why? Why we have to apply, uh, use the, this CD? Because at the beginning, when we develop, uh, when we develop and operate the OpenStack Cloud, we uh, the the approach we use is the have each uh, develop to manually configure the cloud. That will cause a problem. Is the configuration is easy to lose? Because when we change. We want to exactly copy some config configuration from one server to another server. It's hard for uh, developer or, or operator to remember all the things. So we want to have all the configuration as code stored in the uh, in the version control system. And the second is that it takes a long time to get feedback after the developer makes customization changes. Once uh, each time developer made some change, they ha have to manually deploy some, uh, a small cluster and to verify its functionality. So it takes a long time and it will, uh, it is no good for our velocity improve. And third is that by, a, by t uh, take this approach, we can easily check and try the latest update from the community, we can manually or automatically merge some latest code or bug fix from the community and have this changed code go through our workflow and, uh, and go to our environment to see some, some new feature. And at last, is we can integrate templates into this workflow and have templates run automatically. 
So actually, this solution I refer to the OpenStack official CI system and build our own system in local and ha have all the configuration as a code. Actually, here we use Puppet to do this. And our concept to, is to have everything version control. We met a lot of challenges here. First of all, is to how to install, install the OpenStack by source code. Previously, we only installed it by the package. And the second is the environment cleanup problem. There are two choices here. One is to upgrade or is to rebuild totally. You have to consider it. So back to the, uh, the snapshot improvement I mentioned before. At the beginning of a uh, trial OpenStack, we found a problem that if you snapshot a 20 gigabyte VM, it takes a long time. So we do some improvement. First, we analyze each step of the original snapshot. We found that the there are, two, uh, there are two steps it takes a long time. One is the upload back to the client server. If the image is very large, that takes a long time to the uploading. And the second is the rebase step. Actually, it, in some cases, there's no need to rebase. So we try to reduce the consuming, time consuming stage and opt optimize the workflow to fit our requirements. I will show you our snap, fast snapshot that, uh, workflow. Here is a, a, here is a general diagram for the snapshot. You can see when you uh, launch a VM, it will get an image from the glance and will store in the VM instance folder. During the Fast network. In uh, some cases, we uh, actually you no need to rebase. So we only upload the disk file to the glance. And when you need to deploy it, we uh, only the disk file can uh, have to copy to the Nova, and then it can launch the VM for for you. So after this. Process optimization is save our a lot of time when we're doing snapshot. For our auto deployment solution, previously we used the Dodai deployment to do that, and currently we are using the Puppet. When uh, when we, uh, we when we do the deployment, all we need is to use one U disk, and we burn all the uh, master, master burn all the image into a, into a U disk, and when, when you launch the U disk, you can launch a master server. The last server actually is a PXE server or a puppy Dota master server. And you can, we have configuration in this server, and by using this master server, you can configure, you can auto install your cluster from bare metal within, within with several minutes. After you deploy an open Slack cluster, you would like to know if your cloud works well, if all the functionality works well, then you need Tempest to help you. But when we, previously when we used Tempest, we found there are a lot of problems. One problem is that sometimes tempers will have exception. Then it will cause your environment dirty. So we, we do some improvement here. And second problem is that there are dependency in the test. For example, test A, when, when test A is finished, the original two available network is being, 
is be removed. And when test B is run, and it will fail. The third problem is that tem uh, previous templates is not a good support for the test case customization. And the last problem is with, uh, test result and error information is separated. It's not easy to visualize it. So we developed our own launcher script to address these problems. So at last, we can, have, we can customize our own test plan and minimize the impact of the tempest and get very nice diagram from the test result. If your cloud passed the tempest, that means the cloud can the cloud can go to the production level. We have the uh, cloud data analysis service to help, help to analysis the production level OpenStack cloud data. What's cloud data? Actually, cloud data is the, we, we focus on uh, analysis the uh, OpenStack service log. And by uh, analysis these logs, we can get the user behavior, machine behavior, or even some error you come easy to, to find. However, this data is separate in different nodes, and some with the time, with the cloud running, and the data is too large to pass. So we have this solution to help to analysis this cloud, cloud data. Our cloud use Ceph as the storage, so we use Ceph events to help us to aggregate the cloud data. We will mount the, mount the uh, folder of Nova or other services into the Ceph FS, and then we can get all the cloud data in the uh, Ceph FS, and we will launch the map reduce in the Ceph FS and get the results. So the challenge, first challenge is to enable MapReduce in Ceph. And the second is to consider how to do log mining. The approach uh, we use is to construct the, uh, the invoke flow of each OpenStack module as a vector space and put it, put, put it into some algorithm to get the clustering or uh, or uh, other result to help our operator to find some issue from this result. By analysis the logs, it will help us to find some, some problem we can, it not easy to, to find in, uh, normally. And we can uh, and, and, and put the safe and Open set together, we can easily aggregate all the machine data at a real, t at a, at a real time. Another is our one-stop shop admin portal. In this portal, of course, we can see all the VMs and host status, and we can get all the monitor metrics. Also, we can see the Cloud uh, templates test result very user friendly, and we get the data from CFFS in one place. So the administrator no need to SSH to different ser uh, server to check the logs. He, they can only check the logs from this portal. At last, I would like to mention we also integrate the Intel Power package. It's by using this package, we can have your OpenStack Cloud uh, save your power. For the monitor, we currently we are using the Ganglia to monitor our, our OpenStack Cloud and use Negros to monitor 
each service and send the alarm if something fail happened. Okay, the last thing I want to mention is how we integrate the OpenStack into our Intel validation cloud. We do not, currently we do not provide, directly provide the horizon to our internal user because we don't want to break their, do not want to change their user experience. We want to do it step by step. So first of all, I, we ju just leverage the existing systems and integrate by uh, in invoke the OpenStack API and have the OpenStack managed by the existing system. Actually, it's very smooth to integrate by just use the API. And user can have, can have the con consistent user ex experience when he used the existing systems. He actually, he doesn't care for, uh, he he's just not care what, which VM he uh, create. And why I do this way? Because our existing systems have running for many years. So the user have their ex uh, user experience and they want, do not want to change. And this system is fit for the Intel Validation Lab business need. I po just point out two, uh, two parts here. One is our existence have more powerful permission control. You can have very low priority control. And the system can have the physical machine and devices management. It can manage the network port, manage the KVN. This KVN is not the hypervisor KVN, it's the keyboard video uh, KVN. And it can also manage the PDU. So for this specific uh, lab business need, we integrate, it. we integrate the OpenStack into our existing system. And uh, we hope in the future, we can uh, smoothly have our user to move to the OpenStack Horizon or other project. Okay, um, the summary here, I would like to uh, say is that try to enable continence delivery to include all your development and operation activities. It's very helpful for your, uh, for your OpenStack development and operation. And there are a lot of solutions in the OpenStack ecosystem. So you should be very clear which solution you, uh, you should select. That is based on your own business need. And only by understanding your business need, you can only let the OpenStack help, help you very well. OK, that's all. Thank you. So, any questions? Yes. Yeah, um, we have discussion with the Templates community developer. Actually, they have made a lot of change in uh, in the H version. So they they said uh, we we have blueprint there, but they they do not accept actually. <laughs> Yeah, they, they said they will re re-architecture all the templates and make it better so the previous problem will not exist in the future. Yeah, and our customization is based on the previous architecture. Yes. I'm, I'm sorry, could you? Yeah, I'm, I'm come not, cannot I'm hear you. Yeah. I just wanted to know uh, how, how you manage to, to do the kind of 
Mm -hmm. how, how I reduce time? Yeah, actually, in, uh, we notice in some cases there are no need to do the rebase, and you can directly upload, upload the disk file into the grant, so we, in, we reduce time in these cases. Thanks. Yeah. Install, right? Currently, we refer to uh, you because in the source code, actually, there are, there are a script. You can just run this script, and we will install the package into your system. And but, uh, when you install the package, you can select which service to launch, and you will you can run some script and put it to the uh, according to your system, and you can select the service to run. That's okay. Okay, so thank you everyone. Thank you for your time.